Erector spinal plane block is a great facial plane block that has been used for various indications, but also popularly used for providing analgesia for rib fractures. In this video, we will be doing a quick review about how to perform the block. We know that rib fractures can be very painful and can lead to respiratory failure. Early and good analgesia is key to prevent these complications. ESP block can be used to provide adequate analgesia for posterior rib fractures. Let's take a look at some of the anatomy of the back. Here is a diagram of the first layer of muscles of the back. We have the trapezius muscle, the lattice medossi muscle and the rhomboids muscle, just below this. Let's take this layer of muscle out and there we have the erector spinae complex of muscles. The complex is made up of three types of muscles, the iliocostalis, the most lateral, the longissimus, the intermediate column and the spinalis, which is the most medial. The muscle fibers run almost vertically throughout the lumbar, thoracic and the cervical region. Let's take a deeper look just below this muscle group. Here we are zoomed on to the level of the T6 transverse process. We can see the T5 spinal nerve exiting and the cutaneous branches of the dorsal rami of the T5 passing behind the transverse process in the plane between the ESP and the TP. Deep to this and medially you can see the T5 intercostal nerve and deep to all of these lies the lung. Let's get down to the most important part, doing the block. This block can be done with the patient either sitting up or lying in a lateral decubitus position or if possible prone. Beware to look out for those unstable spinal fractures and log roll precautions. Once you have the patient positioned, use a linear ultrasound transducer in a craniocaudal orientation, just medial to the scapula as shown. You should see the image of the muscles, the underlying ribs which have a rounded contour and the pleural line between the ribs. Remember, we want to deposit the local anesthetic just below the ES muscle at the level of the transverse process. Slide the probe medially and carefully watch for the transition of the rounded ribs into the flat tombstone-like transverse process. Also note how the ES muscle becomes more prominent as you slide medially. Needle can be introduced either cranially or caudally, aiming for the corner of the transverse process. Let's look at an example of an ESP being performed. I identify the ribs and the pleura between them. I slide the probe medially till I can identify the tombstone-like transverse process. Above the TP lies the ES muscle along with the trapezius and the rhomboid muscle as shown. I introduce the needle aiming for the corner of the TP and infiltrate a small amount of local anesthetic. You can see the local has spread both cranially and caudally below the ES muscle lifting it off the TP. Infiltrate about 30 to 40 ml of 0.25% levobupicane in this plane. In this case, we also introduced a catheter and the patient had a very good analgesic effect.